Hello everyone, welcome back to another Monday of Vox Edit. Um, unfortunately, we don't have Joseph in the chat today. He is not feeling very well, so everybody wish for him to feel better really, really quickly. Um, but yeah, we're going to be continuing on with our... I feel like this has morphed more into like a zombie, so undead band. I guess we're going with but for anyone new here I am Panda on Mondays I spend an hour with you guys doing Vox edit and answering any of your Vox edit related questions or sandbox related questions um but yeah how how are you guys doing and uh we usually pick up a theme we finished a few themes already um we did in fact I'll show you guys we oh gosh i have not sorted that see so gonna see some sneaky things maybe so we did a computer on one of ours and then the big one the big one was this ramen stand took us many a weeks to get this done and yeah we've got like a lot of stuff going on you're good how am i i'm not doing too bad I'm not doing too bad i mean it's a monday i feel quite relaxed and i think so i'm doing pretty good so what i'm really doing with these guys is i'm actually using the templates and editing them to to create what we're creating here so this is meant to be joseph as a half half zombie half skeleton dude i did do a little bit outside of the stream and if Jazz Wolf is in the chat, we did finish Jazz Wolf. I don't know if he was here to see him finished, but this is Jazz Wolf. Now, all of these are going to have added things, so I will need to unlock these templates. I'm going to rig them all up together, but um, they're going to have a bottom jaw, so their mouths move up and down. So this is just like the top part of their mouth, and we're going to have a bottom bit that we're going to attach to all the skeletons we're doing uh jazz wolf uh this is like an undead band that we're making it started off as like a random thing that's now morphed into an actual project so yeah this is jazz wolf the oh no that's still jazz wolf this is joseph who is usually the guy in my head uh and the guy that you see on wednesdays and most saturdays i think um and we've almost finished him so he's got half a leg missing we're gonna get finish off his arms we're gonna give him sort of like similar to how his head is we're gonna give him a like a little fleshy areas and his hands i'm not 100 percent sure what we're gonna he definitely still needs his hands because he's gonna be playing the cowbell that's gonna be around his neck and the triangle which he's gonna actually um from your guys suggestions uh someone suggested that he should be hitting the cowbell, uh, not the cowbell, the triangle with uh, a box full of legs. So he should be hitting it with like a leg, like a like as if it's his own leg. But I'm going to put a box full of legs there. So that's that's what we're doing. If you have questions about Fox Edit and all that fun stuff, do not hesitate to ask. I will try my hardest to answer all of them. Oh, where's the skin color we use? That's not the skin color we used, but we can go with that. Just going to select his head, just so I can double check what tones we were using. Okay, so we were using an F9C and, ah, oh, this one up here. Cool. And is this a color I added in? I think it is, so I'm going to copy and we're going to go move that into the other ones that we edit. There we go. But yeah, we're going to just add these around. How to get started in Vox Edit first time. You said use the templates. Okay, so there's lots of different aspects when you first get started. Um, also, total big plug. I do have my own channels that I do stuff on. Um, and one place you can definitely go is my YouTube, Panda Pops over there. If you put something like Panda Pops Vox Edit or Panda Pops Sandbox, I should, my channel should pop up. Um, 
and I am actually going to be doing a whole beginner's basic tutorial. The second video was meant to be out um, the other day. However, I've got a huge delay on videos going out right now. So hopefully Wednesday, you're going to be getting that second video. But when you start out, usually you make all like your little models. So you make each piece individually over here. You can use the templates, which is what we're doing right now, where you can click that. And I might as well just get the next one up. Um, and this is going to be a uh, panda skeleton. But, and then we do that and it will bring up this and we can totally edit edit this template by just clicking the little pen tool and editing it and messing around with it um which is what we've done for these guys over here um as well as that if you just use the model to make all your little bits and pieces you can then move them into the animator now the animator doesn't mean that you need to you know make like a big thing that's got loads of different animations that's got like smoke going and code going on the screen you don't need to it's just a place that you can obviously rig lots of different models up and put them all together so you don't get like a like if i did this on its own i definitely wouldn't be able to get like that rotation on there it would all have to be very um you know linear uh hope you're going well may you please announce if need to fill in the form yes i will i am waiting to hear back from joseph because usually he does the forms but he is not well today so hopefully he'll get back to me but yes i will i will shout out hey hillary how you doing it's always good to see regular names pop up absolutely love seeing your regular names coming up saying hi to me much much love guys much love right we're gonna just do that we're not doing too much more to joe he's pretty much finished we got to figure out what we're doing with his hands he definitely needs hands um I think if I just chop a little bit of his arm off and I make it look a little bit more bone-like. There we go. That makes me feel a bit better about it. And then we're going to just have different shades of bonage, I guess. A few places. Um doing well and me yeah not too bad i mean it's a really good monday it's one of the mondays i don't have to go into my actual job which i really really like oh that arm is beautiful oh i don't know about you guys but i really in fact i'm gonna have to edit just this bit of his arm as well to match the beautifulness of the other arm we're gonna do it around just here just there lovely and then probably just a little bit here. Cool. Leave it like Cool. Right, I like that. I like it a lot. Right, but yeah, not too bad. Um, at my actual job, I usually work every every other Monday as well as like the entire weekend. So. It's always nice to not be at work right and we're only gonna have just like this section done actually a bit bit higher up i think it is nope needs to be down one there we go right that makes me happy and we gotta put some other colors in there Break it up a little bit. I'm going to add some of the skin tone, just as if he's randomly got some skin hanging off, because that's always so, so beautiful. I, I might go, yeah, a tad lighter on the skin there. That, that looks much better. 
a little bit of fleshy flesh just hanging off you know what else we could do we could have like just just that right there as if there's just a little bit of flesh just dangling off of his arm i'm curious trying to get into vox edit and asset uh dev but i don't know too much about minting or gems and stuff are these uh online and working at the minute okay so currently right now minting is only reserved for people that sort of get asked to mint less items um and also for uploading to the marketplace is reserved for pre-launch asset artists like myself or people that have been approved with an artist tag however this is something that will become available for everyone and um, being able to mint and have the gems and stuff is available but only for those people that get chosen to do the minting so i was part of the first batch of people in the first sale to have anything up so i do know the process of that you will uh i'll just quickly break down a little bit of the process so what will happen is you will need to purchase the gems and catalyst now for common you don't need to purchase a common catalyst everything will be automatically common but if you want something rare, you need to purchase a rare catalyst and then purchase the gems as well to go with that. And it would be as much as just clicking then to mint. You would be, if you had those in your inventory for what's associated for that. Um, let me show you just something because I don't have any catalyst or gems, so I can't show you the actual full process. But what I can show you is a little bit of what I mean um let's just do uh published okay so this guy right here he's already up on the marketplace he's not minted but he is epic so if i wanted to make him into an nft he's already been approved with epic this is what you could already put this on them um if you have that artist tag and can export it but if I wanted to mint this, I would need an epic catalyst as well as the gems that have already been assigned to this item. So I would need uh, one power and two defense uh, gems to go with this. If I had those in my inventory, which would show up here, this shows you if you've got them. When you go for um, ready to mint, yep, yeah, I already know that. If you go ready to mint, you would you would be able to choose it but i can't i can't mint because i don't have any of the gems or anything like that and it'll say common mint i'm not going to click that because i don't want to accidentally mint anything but i could if i had that then i could mint this you would need those you'd click it would then come up with a transaction gas fee so make sure you're doing it when gas is low um and then it's up on the marketplace after well actually saying that after that you need to put a price you need to have like the price of how much it is in sand for sale but yeah that's that's that sorry for just no sounds like monster <laughs> weapon crafting will be much more fun than in i <laughs> please do show yes hopefully i show i showed you enough uh, I've heard that gems can be dropped during the staking sand ETH mate. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I can't explain that. I don't know too much about that. Like I've said before, I am one of the Sandbox's pre-launch asset artists, as well as one of their streamers and somebody that does the streams on Mondays for Vox Edit. I do not know that much about what like drops and things like that. I do usually have Joseph, who if you've seen the Wednesdays or uh saturday streams as well as when there is a land sale he's on for the land sale so if you've seen any of those streams with joseph he explains all that and knows way more than that he is usually here however he's not very well today so fortunately he's not here and i can't answer that so sorry right we've got to figure out what we're doing with this guy's hands what are we doing with joseph's hands i think the best option would just be to make them very very white because he's gonna have skeleton hands let's just yep yeah, cool and then let's just do 
Nope, that's in the wrong position. Right there, he could have heart hand, I guess. There we go. And can we give him gloves because he's a musician? We'll give him like pretty gloves. He's pretty. Right, if I just do all of that, then I can recolor just there and recolor there. That looks about right. And we got a trim, so this bit at the top here, and I know the chat's covering it. Uh, hopefully you can see through it a little bit, but this this bit right underneath help. Uh, that's trim volume. So you saw there was like a big box there to start with. That acts as a collision box. So if you don't trim your volumes when they're in game, that like if you try and get close to them and their hands in a certain position, you're not going to be able to because they've got a collision right there. So you've got to make sure you trim all those down. But see, it's all neatly around him. Now it goes from like the widest points. So it doesn't trim like perfectly around something. It doesn't wrap around all the the uh, dips and stuff. Giveaway today. I'm waiting to hear back from Joseph. If not, I'm sure he will do an extra giveaway when he is able to. And he is feeling much, much better. What color did we use for his glove? Uh, 4A. Remember 4A. It's 4A. Beautiful. Right. So not today. There might be. Yes, there might be. It's just I'm waiting to hear back from him. He's not very well. He's usually here. He has done before given me the the um the form to fill out but without the form you you can't really fill it out he needs to get more sleep he does this is exactly what i said to him i was like you need to relax like sleep stop overworking hope he gets better yeah he's he's he does a lot like he does a lot of work Oh, I've just realized I colored that bit of the leg. I did not want that bit colored in. Just grab this. Oh, that bit. Okay, right. We're going to have to have the trousers actually go across that. It's a bit irritating. And I have to do the top of his leg. In that color as well so we don't get any z fighting i think that's enough to be covered and we'll have like a little rip in places should do it there lovely okay that doesn't look too bad he definitely looks a little weird clan kirsch how are you doing how are you Okay, hey, Joseph is done. Yay! Joseph's been made. His little patchy mustache is a bit odd, but I think we're we're putting a full beard on his mouthpiece that we're gonna make. So we'll screenshot this and I'll send it to Joe and hopefully he'll see it when he's feeling better. Do you have any idea when we are able to play multiplayer mode? I'm waiting for so long. Unfortunately, I don't know. I do think that to be able to... I don't want to give any dates of when I think it is because I don't know for sure. So I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. Right. This one was meant to be me. I don't want to do me yet. Let's do Andy Ritchie. Andy Ritchie better be here. Also, I've kind of forgotten, Andy, what do you look like? <laughs> Andy has brown hair, right? Hi, Panda. Hey, Purple Lioness, how are you doing? 
right let's let's get making andy quick question here i'm making one big structure for vox edit oh, okay when i create a new document on vox edit the space i have to work is very small how can i make the canvas bigger okay right alcono that is a great great question let's just go do a little bit of that so as you can see i'm making pieces the best thing that i can suggest if you're making an architecture piece make it in separate models and by that i mean something like this so you would make like the front of your building first and let's just uh go over to delete and go uh building and come on open up right so to change how much you can have and i think the maximum if i i know it's not five two two hundred and fifty six, 256 and i forgot a mass apparently so two five six divided by 32 because uh uh one block so one block is meant to signify like a meat it's uh, a meter so one block so you can make something eight blocks high just in this so you can go to two five six and that will do it lengthways so you just change it up here um and you could do two five six all around now i don't usually suggest you do everything in two five six because let's just show you what that looks like and that is massive and you get awful awful lag like if i filled this entire space up you can animate them and still be able to enter the building no um it depends if you want to make animations on a building you would need to be making those animations happen above head height and make um and make it so because it will do a collision box around the entire thing if there's any animations whatsoever there will be an automatic collision box going from the widest point all around so it's not a good idea to do animations really on a building that's just meant to be a building so see see this lag right now let me click this let me try and color some bits in but even like rotate it's it's struggling guys it's really really struggling to do anything so don't do it this big if you can help it you want to make sections and place them on top of each other okay so uh i would suggest give me my calculator uh 32 times i i would say four yeah 128 so let's do 128 so i would say you could probably do that and make like oh hello so just fill that in and make like a nice little little wall type thing going on here I get some bricks on there. That's not how you do bricks. This is really not neat. That go a little bit lighter. a little bit like that not obviously with better coloring and shading and 
And then from that, so let's save, do, 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 go to your animator. Um, we don't want to open file, create new asset. I'm in delete, da, 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 save. Um, and then we'll import that there. Uh, control, and then from control, we do wall one. Pop that there, and then I'm going to duplicate, call it two. Uh, oh, another thing, make sure you center it. Oh, have I frozen? Oh. I am so sorry. I don't know why this keeps happening. It's actually really irritating. Give me one second and I will sort this out. Right. I'm ever so sorry about that. Uh, I was thinking like if you made a garage and the front wall had an opening roller shutter door, would you still be able to enter the building if the front wall with shutter was made separately? Um, yes. So if you made one building and and it was open and like made correctly with the space and a collision and you had no animation, then yes, you could do like you could place that and then let's uh say you made that in uh what way would you have to do it yeah you would you would then make that invisible and then place the one with have i fro i've frozen again no no i haven't good um i was really worried there um and then you would have to make another one with the animation and make no collisions on that one. So you could do that that way. But yeah, so we'll, did I center this? I did center this. Right, and then we'll grab this one. And then you can, you know, do, do all of that fun stuff, you know, make. Pick a building that way. You get the idea? So you don't want to be doing something that big. So to make it bigger, you you can um, go up to, what was it? If I put 400, it'll tell me. 256. So you can have, and you'll change it up here. Um... So width, height, and length. Or, you know, um, X, Y, and uh, the, uh, the little side one. But yeah, we're not going to save that. Uh, this is Andy, I think, that we started editing. And also, don't apologize for asking questions. Like, I, I'm here to help you guys. As much as possible. Which one is this? Is this the one I started for Andy? Yeah, because that one's not been changed. Let's just change. Oh. Okay. All right, now I know who's who. Is it possible to make one part of the building animated and at the same time not being collidable, like a bunch of leaves that move, but you can go through? Um, you... If you're making an animation, there will still be collision. In the game, you can turn collision off. So you can have the animation and turn collision off within Game Maker when you're building the game. It's just if you're building something quite large, let me give you an example of like the collision issues. Okay, so this computer, all right, because there's animation, there's a collision box around the entire thing. So up here, which means, you know, if somebody was to try and jump on the desk, they wouldn't be able to land on the desk because there's a huge collision box, regardless of whether the animations on idle or on fan it's over the entire thing 
And if you don't, um, no, wrong. Uh, but I could turn collision off. They'll be able to walk straight through that. The only issue is, is if you're building a big building, if you want falling leaves and you want the falling leaves to just go down the very side of the building, no issue. It's if you're going to want like something coming out, like far out from it, like, um, where's my ramen stand gone? Like the ramen stand. So this has animation. So if a player was to walk up to this, they would only be able to get as far um, to the building as this allows, but they can walk right up to the front because there's nothing sticking out from the front. But they can only... This is why this is really thin. But they won't be able to walk through, like, into this without me turning collision off in the game. When you make it, there'll be collision. Hey, Jazz Wolf. Uh, I'm waiting to hear back from Joseph, but it's looking unlikely. Let's put it that way. I need to make Andy. Where is... Does anybody have a picture of Andy? But hopefully I explained that as well as possible. Okay, I've got to get a picture of Andy up. Let's go to Twitter. He must have a picture of himself on Twitter. No, not missed it. You missed me showing off you though, uh, Jazz. Right, he literally has no pictures of himself. Oh, there's one! Perfect! Right. Great. It's basically same sort of hair as Joe, but I'm going to make him very skeleton-like. Less, less hairline like Joe, though. But yeah, uh, Just Wolf, I'll show, I'll show you you. You still need your jaw attaching, so here you are. So you still need your jaw attaching and you're going to be given a guitar. But yeah, that's pretty much you right now. Look at your funky shoes. Look at your funky shoes. But I think you look fantastic. Less headphone <laughs> bald spots. Well, he's going to... I'm still going to do, do more on there. Less head... Oh, don't. Don't seriously, my my life flashed before my eyes. So I got worried when when he said that, and it was like, oh yeah, getting like traction, friggin' whatever, alopecia traction, lose hairness. Life flashed before me. Absolute goner. Right. Um, I don't know why I've done that because he's going to need some extra hair coming down here. Because he definitely has extra hair coming down here. Too bad Andy's not here and then he could tell me if he wants a hair colour. It's probably not the headphones. Don't! Don't even! I'm sure it's not the headphones, but at the same time, it's made me really paranoid. <laughs> all right, I need the correct skin tone for all our zombiness. So let's get that. Copy, beautiful, thank you. Oh, actually, while I'm here, let's look at your jaw.
Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've remembered it. Yeah, guys, if you've got questions and whatnot, feel free to ask them. Um, and hopefully my, my camera doesn't freeze up again. Really worrying me. I spent a lot of money getting this camera and I don't know why it keeps freezing up, but it is. And it's only randomly started doing it. So I'm hoping it's an issue that will just go away on its own. Beautiful. Hey, Andy, I'm making you. Did did someone tell you that I was making you? This is you, Andy. I've got a picture of you and everything, right? You got brown eyes, but yeah, you know, demonic, so um Don't know how we're when well, you're not demonic, but you're You're meant to be undead. There we go, that's nice. I was supposed to be here at the start, but I sent Touche a parcel of UK good. Wait, Touche, it's not from the UK. <laughs> Touche is not from the UK. I really thought Touche was from the UK. He tricked me, that trickster. Laser eyes. I can't give him. Should we give him like red, red pupils then? No, darker. There we go. How are we doing, purple? Not being on YouTube for a while. Oh yeah, purple, purple lioness is up up there. Hey, look, I saw the purple lioness. Touche. Hey, touche. Yes, your ears were ringing. I thought I thought you were um British. Why did I think you were British? Did you trick me? All the skeletons have like this this bit. All you guys have have that nose. Uh, I'm Seattle. Um, you're in Seattle and originally from Argentina. You tricked me. How could you trick me like that? Oh, I feel so tricked. <laughs> Andy, that's fine. I mean, I'm making you as a skeleton. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get too excited. So you said you wanted to be on the keyboards. Lol, no tricky here. No, you definitely did. You managed to pass yourself off as a Brit. 100%. Right. Um, you need to look more skeleton-like. And to just... Maybe give you, ah, oh, there we go. I mean, I would do ear hole sockets, but I think giving you ears is better. All right, and we're gonna just add little bits like that. I don't know how long your, like the picture of you on there doesn't show how, how long your hair is at the back, but I'm just gonna go with that. Oh, look, it is. There we go. But we'll make make it so it's like that. There we go. That's... Dodgy Wi-Fi. Oh, purple lioness. That sucks. Sucks to have dodgy Wi-Fi. I know those issues. I'm using uh, a certain color in your avatar and wearables. Feel free to put it in there. Oh. Are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna put it in the chat or are you gonna DM me? I've got I've got both up, so 
Sometimes he has longer hair on Twitch. Wait, how does he just have longer hair on Twitch? Like sometimes it just, it gets long. I can't wait to add like the actual jaws to these. Right, Andy, I don't want you to take offense to this, but you have large ears. <laughs> I'm gonna give you large ears. Oh, I feel so mean. It's they're they're purposely larger. They are they are purposely larger. Like I I can see they're not this large. I feel so mean. I'm so mean. Okay, right. Here's a code. Cool. Copy. Two plus. Oh, what a lovely blue! My hair is so long at the moment. Okay, so we'll we'll give you we'll give you a mullet. I feel like Jazz Wolf is like the only cool looking one so far. There we go. We we're giving you like a little little mullet. <laughs> Are you flying in? Like, it, it kind of looks like it, right? Oh, Hillary. Wait, did Hillary say where she was from? Ah. Okay. You said you said two colors. Are you grabbing the other the other color? Because I can't use that blue on this bit yet. Like, I don't, I feel like that blue isn't going to look right in any of this. It's also very similar to uh, Joe's blue. You and Joe are gonna look like twinses. Oh my gosh, you look. I don't know what to think about, <laughs> about what I've done to you. It was just that color, just that color. Okay, the blue has to be illuminated. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to add it definitely somewhere. Okay, let's... All right. <laughs> oh! oh! I've got to do it for all of them. I keep forgetting that. Let me scroll up so I don't have to click in and out. Do, 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 do. Paste. Okay. Right, so we gotta get your skeleton on. But also a uh, rocker outfit. Oh uh, rocker outfit men. Okay, that's similar to the style that Jazz Wolf is. Oh, oh this is perfect. Okay, that color's going for your trousers. Copy. Yes. One hundred percent. Right, where the hip? Yes. Right, paste. Right, it's not all gonna be illuminated, but some of it will be. Right, let's get your your skeleton hips done. All right, there's your skeleton hips. Um, I'm I'm not frozen. Still good. Right. Go. That that equal? Yep, that's equal. Cool. Right. Just double checking what I'm doing. This definitely needs to be thinner because you're a friggin' skeleton. Lovely. And these are your trousers. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not going to trim those volumes until I'm sure on what I'm doing with your legs. Right, paste. I'm so excited. Make you look like the coolest undead band member ever. Aside from Jazz Wolf and myself. Right. No, your, your legs got to be... Yeah, right. That's That's fine. And your undead leg should roughly be around here, I think. 
have that be your undead leg colour for now. For now. We might change it. Oh. Hey, Scooge. Okay, and we need... <laughs> this is going to be so bright. Okay, um, click that. I'm going to recolor just that bit. Oop, too much. Okay, so just the bottom of your trousers are going to be illuminated. Oh, I just thought of a great idea. Wait, no, no, Andy, I've got, I've got a better idea. So I'm going to have it not illuminated, but then when it comes to animating everything, I'm going to make your legs flash. The eyes are glowing red. You just can't tell that much. The, the eyes definitely are glowing red. There they are. But he's got brown eyes as well. Andy and no sleep. And is skeleton Andy also no sleep Andy? I don't know. Andy? Have, uh, have I made me yet? No, I got me ready. I'm I'm over here ready to be made. So we've got we've done you, Jazz. We've done Joe. This is this is finished Joe for anybody who didn't see finished Joe. He wanted braces on his trousers, so I've had to add braces. So this is Joe with his one leg. Um He's more zombie like. I feel like I need to make Andy a little bit zombie-like too. And then I'll be last. And then I think we've got to make the drum set. Got to make the drum set. And all the instruments and all like the little bits. All right, I need I need the skin colors. Copy. Oh. It's not missing. It's been repurposed. Oh no, he is missing a leg. Oh yeah, te yeah, technically his leg isn't missing. It is being repurposed. It is um be going to be used as the the little ding 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 part for his triangle as a drumstick. No, no, cuz uh Joseph wants to play the cowbell and play the triangle. They were the instruments he chose. <laughs> um so no he's gonna play the triangle with his leg and that was where the conversation apparently was meant to end but then i said it would be pretty cool if next to him was also a box of other legs that he could just you know if he chooses to change what leg he wants to ding 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 with isn't the best for you but how to tune in hey um i'm sorry i'm gonna try and say your name correct benoit 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 i don't know box of legs yeah it's gonna be a box of legs okay andy you are going to be wearing oh, i don't know is this is this a good denim color mm, might be too blue oh that right right there that is a good denim color andy this is you Right, and it's just gonna be your whole back right there cool and because you're half zombie i feel like we're gonna have to have like a little bit of this torn or something just 
to make it a little less weird. Let's do all of that down there. Cool. Actually, no, we need need some of this out. Right, there we go. I like the live stream though. Thanks. Appreciate that. I like you liking the live stream. Makes me feel good inside. Gives me the, the, the warm, happy fuzzies. Thanks for giving me the warm, happy fuzzies. Okay, Andy, this is your top. Now I need to make you look skeletorific. And I have a picture of what I've been using to make you guys look skeletorific. Nope. Cool. Think double. Lovely. And then we need to... Like, let's have your bones just look a little bit more weird. No, let's, let's not. Let's have that all back to normal. Go back to normal. Um, let's just have some flesh along the side as if like you're still kind of half alive, but like you're not really. And do you know what else we'll do? We'll have this be like your heart. Add that right there. Then you need like a sticker, like a happy, happy, happy sun. Because you're in a rock band and that makes total sense that you would you would have that right there. Uh as well as like maybe just like a patch. Like a patch of blood. There we go. I like some blood droplets on there. I've gone a little I think I've gone a little crazy. What about deleting some voxels inside to make him have actual bones? Yeah, I've done that before to give it that illusion. The only issue is I get very worried about um, the amount of faces. So when you put a bunch of stuff together like this, it already has 300. Wait, how much is being cut off? Okay, you can't you can't properly see. But on here, right right at the top top of the screen, it will say how many faces this is. Now I'm gonna be putting all of this into a rig, as well as having a drum set, a guitar, uh, a box of legs, <laughs> um, a triangle is gonna be made, a cowbell, a keyboard. Uh, some microphones. So I've got to be really, really careful about how many faces I'm making it be. So not alive, just rotten. Yeah. Yeah, not not alive. Not not fully anyway. Not fully alive. But um Yeah, so I've got to be careful about that. So when I go, so right now it's 362. So let's just go back to the chest. And let's just say I I take out some of these to give it like the illusion it's indented more. Well, I mean, it's not really an illusion. It is indented more. And then let's just say I color those in. So, you know, it makes it. So it makes it look more like that. Now it is 405. You know what? I might just leave it at that. We'll leave that one like that for now. But yeah, that's one reason why I don't generally do too much unless I know I'm only making like a very small thing. This is going to be very big. So I'm really aware of how much I'm actually doing. Uh, I do need to be like a little careful. Now, if it turns out that I've got like plenty plenty of room and whatnot to you know knock a few bits out then i do that once everything's all rigged up uh them ears look too big really yes but i feel like it it goes it goes with with andy i mean i think we could probably just if we do if we just do this oh no that's that's adding more we just do 
Is like a corner bit gone? There, that, that might break it up a little bit. There we go. See, the ears look more normal now. Kind of makes him look a little less scary. But then, again, Andy is like the least scary out of everyone, so... Can make it so you can see the pumping heart through the ribs. So like, if I... I could do, I would probably have to, if I just get this, if I have it, if I have it like that, and then also do an animation where it uh, illuminates, then that would definitely work. Let's get, let's get this belly done. I want to get the belly done. Right, and we need his shorts to go in there too at some point. Okay, he's definitely too big here. There we go. That's better, <laughs> yeah. Just just that tiny tip. That tiny tip just made it so much better. But we'll keep it going with these bits. Just right there, right there. Go back, right? Ah. Cool. Uh, I also need to add that colour on there. Oh, that's why. It's not perfect. Right, we'll leave it how it is for now. Right, we gotta grab... Got to grab just one more colour, I think it is. Grab that one and... What skin colour? Oh, okay, down there. Perfect. Lovely. Go back to the belly. So one reason you've got to be careful. Make sure you keep these colours going along with them. Because otherwise you're going to get some Z fighting issues, and you don't want that. And... Oh, we need his trousers. Maybe I, maybe I can scroll up to get that. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I could scroll up. Andy, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, enjoying the character I'm... Oh, gosh. I hope you're enjoying... The version of you I am making. There we go. All right, and this I think was the skin color, so we're gonna add a little bit of skin. Yeah, a little bit of skin. And probably like a tiny bit of blood. Just a little, like a little, little fleshiness. Mm. Wait, that sounds really creepy when I say it like that. Yeah, we're sticking with it. Okay, let's just see how that looks. Damn, Andy, you're skinny in this. I mean, like, you're quite slim in real life as well, but, like, I think you're the skinniest out of everybody I've made. For sure. Oh, I missed a section on, on the top. Oh. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's do your other cool leg. Okay. Oh, wait, I need to make that leg smaller. Well, you should always remember what you've chopped off. Right, so it goes right to the back of that leg and you're only three wide. Cool. Oh, it's already on the back of that leg. Does that look right? That looks right. 
How much time do we have? Wow, we're at time. No way. Um, you could also make one uh, skin stick out of um, any mate it real quick when he walks and you do stuff if that's now too gore. Um, huh? Uh, how can I? I didn't really quite follow what you what you put. You could you could try and write it again for me to maybe read it easier. Um, but I don't think it'd be too gory. Don't forget to throw a oh yeah boop boop. Oh, you could have a B B on your back. We can do a B for the boop goop. Right, where's your? I'm on your pictures. You've done like pictures of your boop goop. What's your colouring for Boop Goop? Oh, it's just white and black. Gosh! Make it easy for me. I, I think it's gonna just have to be a giant B because there's no way I'm writing the full Boop Goop on here. So you're just gonna have a B. Okay, it needs to go over <gasps> this. This can be the color for the boop. There we go. We want it higher though. Not quite right. Okay, it can't be higher. It's got to be there. And then I want some stitching around it, similar to how we've got... Oh, gosh, no. Right, let's get that. Uh... There. there right lovely no jeff today guys bad luck his name's not jeff it's joseph there andy what do you think of your boop goop or just your your B. Hope you like your B. Oh, you want a BG? Oh, uh, it's gonna just right. You're gonna have. To, uh, it's gonna just have to be a B. I don't think I could fit a BG on there. Let's try. We'll try. It'll have to be small. All right, B. I look like a G to you. Oh, right, that's a six. Right, BG, and then I'll just have to go around that bit, around that bit, not around there, around there, and around the top, there. So just around the top, on the top there too. Cool. Right, I got a BG on there. I managed to get a BG. Oh my gosh. Right, we are we are at time. We are 100% at time. Thankfully, nothing froze again. We didn't have the camera issues frozen. So, 
what am I going to have ready for you for next Monday? Hopefully, we'll have Joseph in for next Monday. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Where he can do all the fancy thing with the cameras and stuff. That will be great. Um, I will have most of Andy finished. I'm going to get mostly Andy finished and we'll start making me. I'm, I've got an idea of how I'm going to make me, so I think I'm pretty set on how I'm going to look. So that's that's good. So we'll make me and we'll start making the the instruments. We've already got the guitar. I'll show you guys the guitar. It's already in a setup, but I will change change what it's on. Uh last month was July. Right, here we go. So this this will be Jazz Wolf's guitar. You can actually, if you guys fancied wanting this in your game, then it, this is in the marketplace. It's not like minted or anything. So you could just go find that and pop it in. I'm really proud of this. I actually really, really like this. But yeah, you could get that. Don't forget to come and stop by on Wednesday where Joe and Alex will be playing your games and giving you tips and stuff on how to make the games better, what they like about it and all that fun stuff. And on Saturdays, they will also be there teaching you how to do certain things in the Game Maker as well and trying to help you guys build your own games. Follow Sandbox on all the social media stuff, YouTube, Twitch, DLive, Twitter, Instagram. They've got an Instagram. Follow them there. Uh, don't forget to follow me on all my socials and all that fun stuff. And, and where we were, that's looking awesome. Thank you, Touche. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, have a good morning, afternoon, evening. Goodbye.